this is Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com and I wanted to show you some of the items we picked up for our haunted trail this year. So the number one item we picked up is the caution tape. Um, this was pretty key to marking off the area. We want to make sure that the path is really easy to follow. Um, we also have quite a few little Dollar Tree items because we can't afford to put a ton of money in each year. So we're just trying to build up our supply of items each year. So these are glow in the dark. I believe these were either from Walmart or the Dollar Tree. We used an old piece of fence panel that I had laying around, put some masks on them. These were cheap items as well, probably Dollar Tree or one of those places. Okay, the next item we have set up is we have a zombie pit. I will link these items in the, um, in the description. We've got our zombie. His eyes actually light up. I don't have batteries in them right now. I'm going to set those up right before the trail. And then we have some arms sticking up out of the pallet. And I had a little bit of a ditch here that I'm just using. You could dig your own, but I don't think it's even necessary to have a ditch. This is a set of three um, ghost um, path liners, I guess. Path, path lights. So you can see the lights are going off now. There's a Thing on one um, a battery pack on the back of this one to turn them on and off they're all connected so these are super cute you can kind of pose the arms and move them around a little bit which gives you a little bit of freedom to you know pose them how you want we also have some hanging ghosts in the background as well as a hanging bat that you can't see kind of in between them We've got these fence panels, which I've written about on my blog before. We usually just put these up each year to make a little graveyard. We have got random bones thrown around. We've got this guy crawling out of the ground. And we've got this guy here as well. So this guy was an item sent to me by... Um, it's really hard to tell, but he glows because um, it's bright out, but um, he actually shines. You can see his light shining. Um, I really like this set. It came with the two arms and his head, and they both have a spike in them, so you can kind of bury them in the ground a little bit. We tried to kick some dirt over so you can't see the spike and to make it even look more like he's climbing out of the ground. Here are some homemade path um, liners that I made. You could see I have a video up for these. Creepy doll heads from Walmart, some LED lights, and black foam from Home Depot, and just this red battery packs here. So they flip on and off. They look like this. I got this guy. He's actually a stand, but he was supposed to be a talking tree. He was from Oriental Trading Company. Um... He's on a stand, but I've got him tied to the tree here because I thought he would fall over. He's a little bit posable, and he talks. Um, and he's motion activated, I believe, so pretty cool looking guy. So this is the end of the trail. This is the, These are the items that I have out so far. I didn't want to put certain items out. I'm going to show you a few more that I have that I'm going to put out the night of or the week of. I just didn't want them blowing around or breaking if I kept them outside. I have this little motion activated guy who I may have run the batteries down on. Really? No, there he is. <laughs> this is another product from Joy In. Pretty cute. We keep him on the front porch and he scares people. Not super scary, but just scary enough. We've got 10 of these skeleton horses. Um, that we're going to hide on the trail for the kids to look for. We also have um, witch totems that are hung along the trail for them to find as well. So we've got this hanging corpse body thing that we had from last year. We've got some witches we hang at, some snakes, um, all sorts of little skeleton people, skeleton faces. Squeaky rat, my dog wants to eat. Um, chains. Um, lots of little items like this. So many skeletons. Um, this is one of the items I'll probably get out 
soon. Okay, this is a dead body like corpse. It's got some feet, it's got a head. The nice part is, is all of this is just fluff and just fabric. So it stores down really small. Excuse the stink bug, cause they are out in force right now. Um, so yeah, this will lay out. He's a little lightweight, so I was nervous to put him outside. He is an outdoor thing, but I may use some stakes to keep him in the ground so he doesn't move. We just haven't put him out yet. Okay, so we have a couple blow up items that will inflate when we run electric over there. And we also have an animatronics um, River Sticks Day of the Dead or not Day of the Dead. He's not Day of the Dead. Uh, he's like River Sticks guy. That's what I've been calling him. I think Home Depot sells him as like the fairy man and he like is pretty amazing. And we have a fog machine that will go by him as well. So that's what I have for now. Um, keep an eye out. I'm going to have more videos and information about our spooky trail. We got all our stations listed out and we've been working on it really hard every week. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.